Before simulating, some preparation is required. Note, this is done once per project and the information is stored with the project information. Select Assignments, Settings. The Settings dialog box should appear. In the Category list, select EDA Tool Settings Simulation. The Simulation page should appear. In the Tool Name list, select Model Sim. Don't turn on Run Gate Level Simulation automatically after compilation. Format for the output netlist should default to VHDL and the output directory should default to simulation model sim. Select and enter if necessary. Select More EDA Netlist Writer Settings and change the following options. Turn on Generate Nest Netlist for functional simulation only. Enter the location of the user compiled simulation library, for instance on Windows, c colon slash msim underscore lib, if necessary. Select OK. Select More Native Link Settings and change the following option. Enter the location of the user compiled simulation library to the same as in the previous setting, for instance, c colon slash msim underscore lib if necessary on Windows. Select OK. Model Sim requires that the system be specified in an HDL hardware definition language. We'll be using VHDL. Have the schematic open and then select File, Create, Update, and create HDL design file from the current file. In the pop-up window, select File Type as VHDL and the file name will show the name and path of the file. The VDA VHDL file and the BDF file have the same name but different extensions. For example, if your BDF file was example.bdf, then the VHDL file created would be example.vhd. Open the VHDL file using File Open, then add it to the project using Project Add Current File to Project. Note, the VHDL file has three parts, the library definitions, including work, where your project will be stored, the entity definition, which is a wrapper that defines the inputs and outputs to the design component, and the architecture, which defines what your component actually does. Remove the BDF file from the project. The system can't handle two source files for the same circuit. You do this by selecting Project Add Remove Files in Project and then selecting the BDF file and remove it. Note that this doesn't delete the file and you don't want to delete the file. In fact, you don't even need to close the file in the editor. Compile the circuit for a functional simulation by selecting Processing, Start, Start Analysis and Elaboration. It may be necessary to compile the libraries for your device family before you simulate. Click on Tools Launch EDA Simulation Library Compiler. The Max 7000S family should already be selected, so click Start Compilation. Don't worry if you get any error messages.
select Tools, Run EDA Simulation Tool, EDA RTL Simulation. Model Sim will display a splash screen, and then it will load libraries and compile the project. The transcript pane at the bottom of the screen indicates the scripts that have been run or are running.